My name's Tara Hutchinson. I was injured in Iraq in 2006. I was a squad leader over there in the army. I was an MP. After my vehicle hit an IED, my leg was instantly severed and the blood loss from that was incredible. Almost instantly I knew I was gonna die. I mean, there's no way that you can survive that much blood leaving your body. My squad leader jumped in and he put a tourniquet on my leg and they, but by the time I made it back to the fob, my heart had stopped. I had lost enough blood. When I woke up three months later, I only had one leg and I had a burn on my left leg where my boot melted to my skin. It was a third degree burn. I had ended up with this brain injury that had manifested as Parkinson's disease. So I had these tremors that were just horrible in my hands. I couldn't, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't feed myself. I couldn't write, I couldn't do anything with my hands. And to me that was way more devastating than having my amputation because it meant that I had to depend on other people for everything. Being a very independent person before that just, that just put me under basically. And for the next two years I contemplated suicide. It was a really bad time for me. Amazingly enough, I made it to some of my doctor's appointments, and one of them was an occupational therapist, and she said I should try a hobby that used my fine motor skills, so on a whim, I decided to start making jewelry, and after about six months of that, I realized one day that my hands were almost back to the point they were before my injury, and so it basically meant that my brain had figured, figured out ways around the damaged areas to facilitate these very detailed tasks that I was doing with my hands. So it was, it was absolutely incredible once I figured that out. Because I know what it's like to not feel beautiful, my, my life's mission has become to help women feel beautiful about themselves with my jewelry. I am not afraid to ask for help, which is why my handles are up on my wheelchair because I know going through a hotel where you have to go five miles from one place to another, it is hard to do when you're pushing yourself in a wheelchair. So when you realize you need something, you cannot be afraid to ask for it. You have to find out whatever it takes to get it. You have to find out how to get it. Most of us who are in the Army or the Air Force or whatever, we know that when you need something and it's an end goal, you're going to research and find out a way to make it happen. Am I right? You're just going to do it. Well, you have to be the same way in the civilian world. If you have a business, you can't let pride or ego stand in the way of being successful. If you find something that you need, you absolutely need, you find a way to get it. And this year is the first year that I've been selling exclusively wholesale. And I've been to Phoenix and... Atlanta and Las Vegas and all of those shows that I've been to, the booth has been comped and the hotel has been comped and the airfare has been comped and it's all been provided to me at no cost, which is just amazing because especially the Las Vegas booth, that was probably $50,000 that they paid for for me. It all came to me because I asked for it, so you cannot be afraid to ask for help. When I found out about Work Vessels for Veterans, I was absolutely just amazed that there was a, a nonprofit that would help me with very expensive equipment that I needed for my studio. Having this welder has just revolutionized my business. It's just changed things to another level. When she told me that I was going to get this a piece of equipment, it was life-changing. So I'm very, very thankful to, to them for, for helping me with that. It was just wonderful.